All right, so first I'm going to show the final outcome that we want, and then I'll go through and show how we made it. So, right, so you walk up to the shrimp and nothing happens. You walk up to this and it prompts you. Press E, it triggers an animation. Um, this is kind of a long animation, but you had to fade, fade to black here. All right, so it spins around twice at the end of the animation and then reactivates the uh, first person controls. So now this no longer prompts us to pee. And then we walk up to the shrimp and we can press E to eat shrimp. And then when we've eaten all the shrimp, then it turns off the prompt and that's it. Uh, so you, I guess you'd trigger the next prompt at that point. So I'll just go through quickly how we did that. So that's basically being triggered by um, two objects, the toilet trigger, which you can see here, and the shrimp tank trigger, which is currently disabled, but if we enable it, you can see it's there. Um, it's kind of low to the ground, but it still triggers up the character, so that needs to be disabled. So I'll just build those both from the ground up. Um, so let me just get rid of those two. So make a new thing called demo triggers. Just check those in there and disable it. <clears throat> Oops. I'll just disable both of those and disable the parent. Okay, so the first one we need to do is the toilet. <clears throat> uh, let's actually do the shrimp trigger first because it's a little bit simpler. So we'll make a new empty <clears throat> and attach a trigger to it. Just a box collider. Oops. So box collider 2D is trigger. Oh, no, not box collider 2D, sorry. Box collider is trigger. Yep. And then place it on the shrimp tank. And make its size a little bit bigger so that you can actually walk into it because there's a collider. So that is trigger, and then you add a um, super trigger component. So the super trigger starts out empty, um, and you basically need to add, uh, let's just make sure that box collider is like vertically good. Yeah, we'll be able to walk into that. Um, and we'll name this shrimp trigger. So the super trigger starts out empty and then you add groups to it that um, basically trigger events. So we'll add a new group. We'll call this the uh, prompt show. We'll add an input, which is when you enter the trigger. Um, so when you enter the trigger, do an action. So add an action. When you enter the trigger, we'll say enable object. I have a um, text attached to this camera called text display. And then I'll add another action that sets the text, the text display, right? So we'll say set text of text display to press E to eat shrimp, right? And then I'll just show that off. So we'll turn off maximize on play and you can look down at the game. So when you walk into it, it says press E to eat shrimp. When you leave the trigger, it doesn't turn that off yet, but we'll just do that now. So we'll add another group, call it prompt hide. So when you exit the trigger, just disable the object and we'll turn off the set text since we don't need that. So <clears throat> inputs is exit trigger, action is disable object. So those are the two things that we need to show and hide the prompt. We'll just show that's working. Yep, so when you enter and leave, press E to eat shrimp. Okay, so then the next one is we need to make the shrimp edible. So we'll say eat shrimp two, so when there's two shrimp. 
So this one's a little bit different. So um, this is when you're inside the trigger, so stay trigger, and when you press the button E, so press key uh, E is down here. It has all the keyboard keys on this list. You can just press the keyboard key to jump to the right one. And then there's a final thing that you need, which is that a certain object is active. So in this case, there's three shrimp tanks. There's the shrimp tank. Sorry, I'll just reorder this. There's the shrimp tank with two shrimp. There's the shrimp tank with one shrimp. And there's the shrimp tank with zero shrimp in it. And they're just uh, three, ob just three game objects there. Um, so the shrimp trigger. So we'll say if shrimp tank with two shrimp is active, then you'll run this. And what you'll do for this one is you'll disable the shrimp tank with two shrimp. So disable object shrimp tank, oh, shrimp tank two shrimp. And you'll enable the object shrimp tank one shrimp. Um, so that's eat two shrimp. Then we'll eat one shrimp or eat shrimp one. So that plays if shrimp tank one shrimp is active. And then we'll disable object shrimp tank one shrimp and enable object shrimp tank zero shrimp. And then there's no more shrimp to eat, so we'll uh, disable this trigger entirely and then you won't be able to eat any more shrimp so we'll say disable object shrimp trigger. And then the final thing we need to do is make sure that the prompt is turned off. So in your case, you might want to actually trigger an animation or um, prompt the people for the next objective that they need to complete. But in our case, we're just going to disable the prompt. So. That's the text display. So I think I've done this right. Um, so let's just play it and see if that works. So you walk up to the thing, it prompts you. When you're inside the prompt, you press E. Oops. Oh, there's one other thing we need to do. So what happened there was it played this one out, and then because this one was true on the same frame, it immediately played. So there's one other thing you need to do, which is there's an action called single execution, which means that this is the only um, this is the only set of actions that can take place on this frame. So it won't drop through and then run this set of actions. So if we set this to single execution, then it should just eat one shrimp and then right. So it eats one shrimp, then it eats the other shrimp, and then it turns itself off. You can see the shrimp trigger is disabled there. <clears throat> right, so that's our shrimp thing. So um, what we need to do next is the uh, toilet trigger. So we'll make a new object. And this is just the same thing. So make a new object, add a box collider to it, put it on the toilet. I'm just going to run through this a little bit faster. Um, set up the box collider so that it, you can actually run into it. That needs to be pretty big. Okay, so when we walk into the box collider, that's the box collider there. Um, we'll call this the toilet trigger. Um, then we'll add the super trigger to it. So we'll just go through this a little bit quickly, more quickly. So we'll have a show prompt uh, and just the same on enter trigger show the prompt. In this case, I've made a, um, I've made a animation, uh, this animation here, which is just a, you can see here, it's a uh, sprite animation. So we'll disable that again. Um, so we'll enable that in the toilet trigger. So enable that object. And then we'll add the hide prompt, which is just the inverse of this. So hide prompt happens when you exit the trigger. 
we'll disable that same Chris EAP. We'll just test that now. <clears throat> so when you walk in, oh, I haven't made the, I made the um, collider too small so you can't actually hit it. Right, so that should, you should be able to hit it now. No? Oh, it's because I've set it to not be a trigger, excuse me. <clears throat> so now it's a trigger, so it should, right, okay. So you can actually walk into it now and the prompt pops up. Um, then we need the thing that happens when you press E, so... When you're in the trigger, stay trigger, and you press key. E. Um, then we'll disable the object toilet trigger, because this is the last thing that happens on this, and we'll enable the object shrimp tank, oops, shrimp trigger, because that's the next objective that happens. Um, and then we want to play an animation. Oh, sorry, we don't want to play an animation. We want to animate camera. So these are slightly, these are two slightly different things. So play animation will just play an animation clip on a target object. Animate camera will do the same thing, except it will also have a, um, a time over which the camera will linear interpolate to the new position. So we'll set that, uh, we'll set the target as the vanilla player. So that's the target object. And then I've made this animation called it's this one here, called Sit on Toilet Legacy. That's the animation that plays. Um, you can take a look at that in the thing. So, Sit on Toilet Legacy. And then there's also this thing here, which is where we want the camera to start at, where, what the initial position of the camera is during that animation. So um, you can see it's kind of pointing down looking at the toilet. And so we'll set that as the animation start target. So what will happen is we'll disable the toilet trigger because we don't want any more we don't want any more to happen on there. We'll enable the shrimp trigger. So in fact we can disable the shrimp trigger now. We'll enable the shrimp trigger then we'll animate the camera, the target object vanilla player. Uh, we'll play the animation Sit on Toilet Legacy. And before we play that, we'll spend half a second uh, interpolating the position to the animation star target. So let's just run that. All right, so we walk over to the toilet. You can see it interpolates over half a second, then plays the animation. The animation runs for a little while should move us back up so that we're not going through the floor. Okay, it moves us back up. And then, ah, so it's it disabled the thing, but before it played the animation, it actually needs to disable the prompt. We'll add that. But now you can see the press E to E shrimp is working. So we'll just do that last thing, which is disabling. So the order of these things doesn't matter. They all happen at the same time but we'll just disable the, ob the prompt object, the press E to P prompt. prompt. <clears throat> okay, so press E to P. Doesn't matter where you are, it will linear interpolate over half a second. So you can see we were behind the toilet there. You might want to block off things where the camera can animate too much. Um, with colliders so that people are in the right position. And now you can see that press E to eat shrimp pops up, but no longer does this thing pop up, nor does pressing E make anything happen. So we'll eat some shrimp. And then that's turned off and we're done. Okay, I think that's about it. Um, I'm going to upload this now.